Welcome to Core Program. In this video, we discuss about learn setting a JSON file in .NET Core. If you miss our previous video of about hosting model, then please go through this. So let's first discuss why the learn setting .json file is used in .NET Core. The learn setting .json file describes how a project can be launched. It describes the command to run, whether the browser should be open, which environment variable should be set, and so on. This information can then be used by .NET to run or debug our application. This is the same application that we have used so far. You will find the launch setting.json file in the properties folder of the root project folder. If you look at JSON file, you can find in the profile tabs there is two sections. One is AS Express, another is the command name project that our project name. The settings in this file are used when you run the sp.net core project either from Visual Studio or by using .NET Core CLI. Keep in mind that the launch setting.json file is used only on local development machine. It doesn't require for publishing our sp.net core application. If there are certain settings that you want your sp.net core application to use when you publish and deploy your app, store them in app setting.json file. We usually store our application configuration settings in this file. We can also have environment specific upsetting.json file. Upsettings.development.json is for the development, upsetting.staging.json for the staging environment. In sp.net core, in addition to upsetting.json file, we also have other configuration sources like environment variables, user secrets, command line arguments, and even our own custom configuration sources. Our next video, we discuss more details about upsetting.json file. At the moment, we discuss about launch setting.json file. When you run the project from Visual Studio by pressing Ctrl F5 or F5, by default, the profile name with command name IIS Express is used. On the other hand, if you run the project using .NET Core CLI, then the profile command name project is used. If you move to the drop down, you can see the IIS Express on the project name My First Code Demo is found here. The value of the command name property can be used as project IS Express or IIS. When move to the startup.cs, we make the change in the code to get the process name system.diagnostics.process.get current process dot process name. This can be used to find the current process name. So let's run the application using IIS Express. Just F5 or click here. You can see that the application is running in IIS Express and in the IIS Express, the application URL is HTTP localhost and this port number. And the application port number is 49956 is listening here. If you want to make the port number, just change it to 7 and save it and run it again. You can find that the new port number is listening. If you move to the CS Pros file, you can find that the SP.NET Core hosting model is used as in process. As it is used in in process hosting model, then the command name project should be used when you run the application using CLI command. To run the application using CLI, right click on the project name, then go to open folder file explorer, and here just write command. It open the it open the command prompt, then type here dot net then run and hit enter you can see the application is now listening the http localhost 5000 when you copy this port when you run the application you can see that it listen the localhost 5000 port number this is because the command name is run as project and the application url is localhost 5000 and another point is that in the profile stuff in both ias express and the command name as project, there is another key is ASP.NET Core environment. This key is responsible that the application will run in development mode, staging mode, or production. When you move to the startup.cs in the configure method, you can see that the environment is set as is development. That means any exception is found on the development mode, then this middleware is called. On our upcoming videos, we go through details about middleware in sp.net core if you set as the sp.net core environment as staging then you will go through this part and here we can handle the exception when the command name is project that means when you run the application in .NET Core CLI, then the hosting setting is ignored then in then in that case only one web server is used that is called castle
If you are new to Questel, then please go through our previous video. If the command name is IIS Express, then Infosys hosting model is called. And only one web server is used, that is IIS Express. If it is IIS Express, then ASP.NET Core hosting model is auto process, and the internal web server is Kestrel, and external web server is IIS Express. If the command name is IIS, then the ASP.NET Core hosting model is called as Infosys. Only one web server is used is IIS. In our upcoming videos, we elaborate how our ASP.NET Core application is hosted in the IIS. If the command name is IIS, then ASP.NET Core hosting model is used as auto process. Then the internal web server is Kestrel and the external web server is IIS. So for this video, we discuss all about the launch setting and JSON file. If of any doubt or concern, you can give your feedback. That's it in the video. In the next video, we discuss about upsetting the JSON file. For more details, please visit the core program website. The link is shared in the description box. Do like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.